morning, everybody. If you will, get your Bible and turn with me back to the book of Proverbs. We'll be in the second chapter today. Proverbs chapter 2, beginning in verse 16. Uh, continuing and expanding on uh, yesterday's thought. Uh, yesterday, uh, the father uh, told his son that uh, wisdom would uh, protect him and keep him from, uh, from wickedness. Now he's going to kind of down that same road, but he's um, going to go from, I guess, a four-lane road to a two-lane road. He's going to get more specific uh, about uh, a particular area uh, of wickedness that wisdom will protect him from uh, and that uh, he recognizes as being uh, a particular problem for the young man. Uh, and um, it, the, <laughs> the father, if he uh, was living today, uh, and talking about uh, this issue would um, <laughs> uh, would be blown away by the the need for this uh, this particular instruction. Um, he's going to tell him that wisdom will protect him from uh, immorality, uh, protect him from uh, the immoral uh, lifestyle. Um, and uh, again, it's um, not to say that uh, uh, this isn't an issue for females, uh, but this just is uh, a passage where a father's talking to his son. Uh, a mother certainly would give, um, could, could and should uh, give the daughter uh, similar um, advice. Uh, and he tells him that wisdom will deliver thee from the strange woman, uh, even from the stranger which flattereth with her words, which forsaketh the God of her youth, and forgetteth the covenant of her God, for her house inclineth unto death, and her paths unto the dead. Now that go unto her, return again, neither take they hold of the paths of life." Um, Strange woman um, is a phrase that is used often uh, in uh, the Old Testament, talking about those uh, that were not uh, from Israel. Uh, but here, it's even more specific. It's talking about uh, a woman that would be uh, being involved with a woman uh, outside uh, of marriage. And he says, wisdom will help that young man uh, to be able to, to un understand and not be um, swayed by those, the stranger with f that flattereth with her words, uh, to be able to uh, tell, tell that uh, the words of flattery, to be able to uh, disregard those um, and not forsake the guide uh, of youth um, and to be uh, cautious uh, in, uh, in that area uh, of, uh, of being careful of, uh, of, uh, of immorality. Um, and she says wisdom will help him uh, to be able to avoid uh, being uh, entangled uh, in that immorality. And we know uh, scripture is very clear uh, in numerous places uh, that uh, God is um, very uh, plain, very clear about uh, the dangers and his opinion uh, of, uh, of immorality. Uh, that um, it says again uh, in, in, uh, in, in these verses that uh, she inclineth unto death. Um, and it means to uh, that her, her way leads to death and uh, leads to uh, leads to destruction um, is uh, the end result 
uh, of uh, the immorality uh, that is uh, described here. Uh, and he says that uh, verse 19, the really strong warning here is that none that go to her return again. Um, the, the, the immorality, he says, it's a, it's a place that um, people go um, and um, they just, uh, it destroys them. Uh, it uh, ruins uh, their life. You can, don't recover uh, from, uh, from the immorality. And so some really strong words here from the author uh, of, uh, of Proverbs. And certainly in our culture today, uh, as I said earlier, uh, this, uh, the author, if, if, if immorality was an issue to him uh, in his time, uh, what a, um, he, he, he would just completely be dumbfounded by our culture where everything uh, revolves around sexuality, um, everything is, seems like everything is, uh, is attempted to be sold through sexuality. Um, the, the dress, uh, the dress or the lack of dress, uh, that we see out in public, uh, is just a, a major, uh, stumbling block for so many people. Uh, and so the, he's warning us about the danger, uh, of, uh, of immorality. And uh, there's really very little um, explanation that I need uh, to, to put on top of that. Uh, it's uh, very clear, uh, his, uh, his warning, uh, that we should seek the wisdom of God uh, so that we avoid uh, immorality. And, and we, we look at that and we think, well, yeah, the young man uh, does need to hear that. Uh, the truth is, and we see this uh, practically every day uh, all around us, that um, people of all ages and all walks of life, uh, that no one uh, is above, uh, no one is uh, immune to uh, those flattering words uh, of the strange lady, uh, that immorality can, uh, can creep up on any of us and sneak up uh, and ensnare us. So uh, good words of warning for us today, and even more so uh, in our culture, uh, to lean on, trust in the wisdom of God uh, that helps to protect us uh, from the ways of immorality. Have a good day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow morning.